and welcome to Who's the Mummy? Today we're going to be reviewing the Nito Robot Vacuum Cleaner. We're going to start off with a bit of a challenge. We're going to put some sugar or some flour down on our rug and then we'll come back later and tell you how it did. So this is the Nito Bot Vac. The, this is the charging station. It has to be plugged into this quite regularly. And the clever thing is, you have to insert the time and the day because um, you can schedule it to go off at six every morning if you're a messy house or at just once a week if you're a tidy house. So uh, Nito also has this dirt bin which what is what collects in the dirt after you have vacuumed it you have to clean this out regularly here's a filter and after you've cleaned it out you just easily slot it back in and this as chewed by teddy is control tape so we started using this after Nito took a suicide leap out of the back door. <laughs> what it does is if you spread it over an area where you don't want Nito to go, then it won't go there because it's got a sensor underneath to sense this magnetic tape. Alright, let's get started. He's quite loud but it's got a sensor in front of him to tell when anything's in front of him so he knows where the walls are. Let's see where he goes. We're in the lounge now and Nito is just there. He's cleaning at the moment. He's doing a very good job. To clean the ground floor of our house, Nito takes about 20 minutes. Let's look him go. We've been out and the new, we've left the Nito cleaning the entire ground floor. It found its own way back to the charging station, which was pretty handy. But the real question is, did it clean the rug? So, uh, here is the rug and has it got rid of the horrid stain? It has, but we magic the dog! <laughs> <laughs> Good. And we are, it has completely gone and we changed it into a small puppy. Yay! 